in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. If culture today, if our society today can get us to doubt that, if they can get us to say that's not true, then that makes the whole Bible false. That one sentence is so pivotal to our belief in all of Scripture because the Bible says that God created us. He is a creator. It also says that our creator is our redeemer. And if he's not the creator, then he does, he's not the redeemer. And we don't need a redeemer. See how important that first sentence is in the Bible? If you don't believe that God created the heavens and the earth, I'm not so sure you believe in the redeemer because you don't believe in God. It's, 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 such a, it's such a strong foundational sentence to the, all of Scripture. Because if Genesis 1, chapter, if Genesis 1, chapter 1 and 2 is not If you don't believe it's the truth, then how can you believe any of the rest of it? How can you believe any of the rest of the Bible? See, what we believe about creation and what we believe about Genesis has implications all the way to Revelation. There was a well-known scientist, a much decorated scientist. His name was Herbert Spencer. He died in 1903. And in his scientific career, he had been noted for many discoveries. He was a philosopher, as you can see, a philosopher, a biologist, an anthropologist, sociologist. Did a lot of political theory. One of the things he was made famous for is he came up with this idea of what reality is. He said, he said that reality can be summed up into five categories. Time, force, action, space, And matter. So, this here is matter. Okay? The time on the clock is time. Force. Gravity is force. Space. Space. He says everything that in in the universe can be summed up into these five categories. And that's a pretty that's a pretty astute discovery. I mean that took some that took some heavy thinking. And it didn't come out to the nineteenth century. But if you think about that, and what's interesting also is he actually listed them in this order. So here's what I want to do. As you're thinking, as you're thinking about these, these items, these five categories that he placed it in, I want to go back and look at Genesis 1.1. Genesis 1.1 says, in the beginning, that's time. It says, God, that's a force. Created, that's action. The heavens, it's space, and the earth, it's matter. Let me say that again. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning is time. God is a force. He created, that was the action. The heavens, that was space, and the earth is matter. Now, I want to tell you now that Herbert Spencer was not, I'm going to say not necessarily a a believer in creation. In fact, he was very much a evolutionist. But for some reason, God revealed to him these five categories for everything, and they fit perfectly with the first verse of the Bible about God creating the heavens and the earth. This is something that God has known since forever. And yet, it wasn't until the 19th century that he revealed it to us. And he revealed it to us through an evolutionist. Now, either you believe that or you don't. I mean, you can, you can disbelieve that. Either you believe it or you don't. You either believe that this verse is accurate. And that God is the force that created the heavens and the earth. Or you believe that God is not the force that created everything. And you're left with chance and randomness. And coincidence. 